Well, after weeks of questions and concerns about the two title fights regarding UFC 228, the worst case scenario did happen for one, but it was not the one we expected. Uh, Nico Montano, the UFC women's flyweight champion, hospitalized this morning. Her fight with Valentina Shevchenko is off the card. My name is Sean Alshadi. I'm joined by the man in the hat, Chuck Mendenhall. Uh, and this is unfortunate news for the card of UFC 228. Now, Chuck, I mean, this news first came down for us around an hour before weigh-ins. Uh, that's when we first started hearing word. I guess, can you give us an update on the situation, what you know? Fortunately, it wasn't the worst case scenario, because the worst case scenario would have been the thing that we were sort of highly anticipating, which was we might have trouble with the till fight. So we got that, but the MMA gods have struck again. And <laughs> here we are discussing another fallout. Yeah. What I what I was told is that uh, last night, um, Nico was cutting weight, and at one point, um, she just stopped sweating. And I think there was a couple of red flags, obviously, when this happens. Um, that maybe this fight would be in jeopardy um, if she's not able to get down to weight and these types of things. And this morning around eight o'clock local time in Dallas here, um, you know, I, I was getting word that she had she was being taken in by ambulance out of the hotel and to the hospital. And that's kind of where we are. Um, we've seen like the press release since then. And uh, we know that, you know, it's more precautionary, it sounds like. I don't know to what extent her, uh, it was a, clearly a health issue, but you're not sure to the extent of it. We just know that the fight is off, and it's just really unfortunate. It's unfortunate for her, who's been looming in this, uh, this situation of purgatory, really, where she hasn't defended her new belt, and for Valentina Shevchenko, who um, I think a lot of people think it was tailor-made for her to get that title shot and to possibly start her reign. So um, very unfortunate for both parties. Yeah, and you know, this isn't anything new for Valentina Shevchenko. I mean, first things first, you obviously hope Nico Montano is okay. But Valentina Shevchenko, this is the second yeah. time in two years for her now. I mean, last year she had a very similar circumstance where Amanda Nunes pulled out just hours before their fight, before their bantamweight <laughs> title fight. Now happens again. And, and throughout the lead up to this Valentina Shevchenko, that has been what she has said, that she isn't sure that Nico would make that fight. Right. That ended up coming to fruition. And really, this entire lead up, we were thinking that Darren Till versus Tyron Woodley yeah. would be the fight where if something happened on weigh-in day, it was going to be that fight. It ends up being the co-main event. You just never know in the UFC. Um, these things, are, they're just such hypothetical matchmaking until the moment you see them walking out, you just don't know what's going to happen. I don't know why we'd have any indication that Nico wouldn't make the weight. We saw her on um, the Ultimate Fighter, um, you know, making weight multiple times, you know, through navigating that tournament. And honestly, in talking to her, she was in fine fettle. I didn't feel like there was any real, there was no real reason to, uh, to feel concerned about her. Um, it's just one of those left field things, you know, and then, what you're not surprised is if something crazy happened in the morning weigh-ins. I feel like we're getting yeah. used to that. But sometimes you're surprised by the names. You're surprised by who, who it's happening to. So certainly was taken off guard by that one. Yeah, and you know, again, it is unfortunate. It feels as though this is, the fact that we're not surprised, even though this is a surprising one, I think that says something about maybe where we are as a yeah. sport, a fan base. The past three years, it really feels as if nothing is certain, uh, <laughs> regardless of how close you are to the event. But that's about as far as we know right. as for right now. We'll keep our fingers crossed Again, that we at least get yeah. what we think we're getting now at this point. So Again, yeah, UFC 228's main event, Tyron Woodley versus Darren Till, that is still on. But the co-main event, Nico Montano versus Valentina Shevchenko, that fight is off. Uh, we will give you more updates on MMA fighting as we get them. Uh, but in the meantime, keep it locked to MMA fighting for continuing coverage of UFC 228.